Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, we are going to see how to select different type of objects automatically from Autolist program and process them one by one. For that, we are going to use three different functions in Autolist. That is, the first one is SSGET, which is used to select objects. That will select the objects based on the given properties and it will return a selection set as a result. And the second one is SS length. This function is used to find how many number of objects selected in particular selection set. And then another one is SS name. This will give us the name of entity at given index in specified selection set. So these three different functions we are going to see first of all one by one and then we will write a small sample program example program to understand how to use them in a program. Well, so first of all see how to use ssget. So go to vlide and take a new file. Well, so the syntax let us see the syntax of ssget first of all. So it is like this ssget and simply close. So if you load this statement, it will allow you to select any number of objects for any number of times and it will return you a selection set. Let us see how does it work. Just load this into AutoCAD clicking this second button load selection. You can see it is asking to select objects. You can select text entities, circles, whatever. You can select any number of times. You can add, you can remove like this. So all the selection methods are allowed in ssget if you press enter you can see a selection set object is returned over here in visual lisp console window so you can store it in a variable by just putting a variable name in front of it say set queue selection set one and close this one so now if you load this statement into autocad and do some selections like this and press enter that will select objects and put them in a selection set and it will return the name of that particular selection set right so we have done general selection so how to select only circles in the current drawing let us say there are numerous objects in the current drawing but we would like to select only circles so how to do that using ssget function let us go to vlide and do little change over here and one more thing I want to tell you how to select all the objects in the drawing that we will see first of all and then we will go to only selecting only circles. So to select all the objects in the drawing simply put a space over here put double quotes and write one X inside double quotes which means select all the entities in the current drawing. Okay. So let us load this statement into AutoCAD. So you can see another selection set is returned in Visual Lisp console window. This contains all the objects in the current drawing. How can we know? Let us try to find the length means the number of entities selected by using SS length function. So what is the syntax of SS length function? Let us see. Very simple bracket start SS length and selection set name. That's all. So if you write SS length and selection set name and if you load this statement, it will return you the length means the number of entities contained in that particular selection set. Simply click load selection. You can see 21 number of objects are selected. Let's go to AutoCAD and check whether there are so many numbers. Say here we have five objects as well as five circles and five another numbers 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and we are missing some here numbers are not 5 these are around 7 so 21 is uh, correct so that is how we select objects using uh, x in ssget as a option means if you provide x in double quotes along with ssget it will select all the objects in the current drawing so let me put a comment over here select all the objects in the current drawing so that is how we do selection well so how to select only circles in the current drawing so we have to put the type of entity property over here so how to write that one very simple list cons 
zero is the type of entity DXF code, and here circle is the entity type to be selected. So here we are providing a list of properties as a filter so that from all the entities in the current drawing only the provided list will be applied to filter the objects so here if you load this statement it will select all the objects and from them it will filter only circles and and it will put only the circles into the selection set so let us try to load this one so i am clicking the second button and you can see selection set 100 is written so let us try to find number of entities contained in that selection set okay simply select this statement and load it into autocad you can see 5 is returned means there are only 5 number of circles we can see 1 2 3 4 5 so that is how we select entities now if you type text over here instead of circle it will select only text entities let us try to select one more time select this statement and click load selection another sele selection set is created just try to find how many number of text entities are there in AutoCAD. Just load the second statement. You can see 16 number of entities. So let us see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that is correct. So this is how we do different kind of selections based on properties provided to SSGET function. So there are other type of filters are also there. You can use entity type, you can use color code, you can use line type, line weight, layer and all any type of properties that can be applied to an AutoCAD entity. Well, so now I just want to tell you how to find a name of entity at particular index in a selection set. So that is like this. There is another function called SSName its syntax is very simple starting parents is ss name selection set name and the index index means the position of the entity which whose name you want to find let us say if you give zero index generally starts with zero and ends with n minus one means the zero entity is the first entity and the last entity is n minus one let us say if you write ss name as set one zero and load this one it will return you the first entity in the S set one selection set. Okay, then you can process that entity in any way you want. Well, let us try to write any one program to select all the text entities in the current drawing and change the color of text entities to red, whichever text having special character in its content. Hope you understood. There are different text entities over here. In those, we have 5, 12 and 14 are having hash in their uh, content means the prefix is hash which is a special character based on that let us try to change the color of text entities to red which are having special character in their content let us try to write a program for that one so I am uh, removing all these and writing the comment program to change the color of text to red whose content has a special character right so program to change the color of text to red whose content has a special character in its content well how to write the program define c colon and color text ct is my command name and close the program and start the program so what is it to be done in the beginning we need to select all the text entities first of all so in this we are also going to use while loop let us try to first select the objects uh, from the current drawing so i am writing like this set queue selection set one bracket start i am writing ss get x means select all the entities and filter only text entities from those and put them in the s set one selection set this ss get will select all the entities in the current drawing because we are using x over here but we are filtering only text entities from that and we are storing them into selection set one so for that i am providing a property list over here 
with an association list that is entity type text well now we need to find how many number of entities are selected in that so that we can process so many times all the objects so for that i am writing ss length variable which will hold the number of entities in the selection set that is ss length as set 1 and close so if you load this one it will provide you the number of entities contained in that selection set now i am going to write a counter variable for counting from 0 to n means up to the length of objects this is to run the loop for so many number of times you will come to know that later let me write first of all set queue counter 0 means i am initializing counter variable to 0 and later i will increase it one by one up to number of entities minus 1 so let us see how to do that one to process one by one each entity i am going to start a loop over here so while less than counter ss length this condition as long as this condition is true the while loop will be executed means as long as counter is less than ss length the while loop continues now close while loop and try to find the name of each entity at the counter index okay now we need to extract the name of zeroth entity first of all means the entity name at counter position so how do we do that using ss name function so set queue text entity ss name ss name from selection set 1 at a position counter means the counter position is 0 in the beginning so at 0th position from selection set 1 get the name and store it in txt variable now we need to extract the database properties of this text entity so set queue txt data and how do we get the database properties of any entity ent get is the function and we need to supply the name of entity so ent get will extract the database properties and it will return and they will be stored in txt data from that we need to extract the content of that text entity so let us see how to do that one set queue txt content that i am going to write it like this cdr of assoc1 from txt data so just there are two this is a little bit complex statement in this first of all we are going to get the association list from the database properties association list with the dxf code 1 from database properties from that we are removing the dxf code and we are only extracting the content by using cdr function so that only the content in the uh, database properties will be uh, returned which will be stored in txt cunt there we need to check whether this content contains any special character so we have another function called wc match wc match function is used to find if any string contains the specified pattern in its content so its syntax is very simple let me show you wc match and string and pattern so this is the syntax of this function so here string is nothing but is text content only so i am replacing it and here the pattern is nothing but star dot star here star means there can be anything as prefix another star means there can be anything as the tail in that if the content has a special character means if you write a full stop in the um, star dot star means in the in between the stars means if there is any special character in the content that will say true okay so here i am writing if if text content contains any special character then it will return true then what to do we need to change its color to red so i am going to write another small function that is command method so command change property to the txt entity and enter the property is color 
to red and no other changes required that's it i'm going to write a small command macro here very simple command method use chprop command select the object that is text object and it will ask you to select more objects i am just typing enter means two double quotes means i am writing an enter enter keystroke and it will ask you to change which property i am saying color property it will ask you to which color i am saying red color and then it will ask you do you want to change anything else i am saying nothing means i am providing two double quotes which means press enter key that's all so with that it will change we can do the change uh, color change with other ways also as of now this is the simplest way and with that our job is finished now we need to increase the counter to the next entity means counter variable should be increased by one so that the next entity will be processed in the next step so how to do that one set q counter one plus counter here one plus is a special variable provided for this kind of while loop so one plus means existing value plus one that's it nothing special so it will add one value to the provided variable that we are storing into current uh, counter so that its value increase increases to one again one will be checked with ss length and if that is less than ss length again the same process will be repeated so that's all so once you finish i would like to tell you to write a small like to let the user know whether the program is finished or not we need to provide a small hint at the end of the program so i am writing like this print done means the job is done and another print so that this done will will not be repeated once again because always the last executed statement will be printed once again so to avoid that one we are writing a blank print so that's all so hope all you understood how to write this one we are doing a selection set and we are finding its length and we are initializing a counter variable and we are starting a while loop as long as the counter is less than the length of selection set it will take each entity name and it will get its data and from that we are extracting the content of the text and we are checking if the content contains any special character we are changing its color to red and then we are increasing the counter so that the next entity will be processed later so with this the program is finished let us try this one let's go to tools menu and check text in the editor checking done no errors found again load this into autocad now do remember our command is ct just go to autocad and type ct at the command prompt and press enter now you can see cybercad solutions is turned to red again hash 5 hash 12 hash 14 why do cybercad solutions turn to red why because there is a space between cyber cad solutions so even space is also a special character so that its color has been changed to red color so this is how we do selections automatically in autolist program and or we process objects automatically in autolist so hope all you understood how to do selection how to process each in each entity one by one and how to let the user know the program is finished friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching this video and welcome to the next session friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session